Right, a couple of Spectras on the bench. One's a Spectra Plus, and one's a, an ordinary Astro, Astro Spectra. Take the lids off. No clues yet. That's a UHF. It's a VHF. How to spot that they're Spectra Pluses. I've never come across them with stickers on to tell you, apart from the ones I stick on. And the Spectra Plus was an update to the um, Astro Spectra with uh, 4 or 8 mega memory. Well, the, the only bit that was changed, the only board that was changed, was the Volcom board, which lives under here. If we can get one out. There's a Volcom board, it'll quite happily live in there. That is a standard Spectra, Astro Spectra. This one is a Spectra Plus. Slightly different coloured board. More memory on that one. That is the only difference. That tends to be that, that shade of green and that's the sort of dark bluish colour. That's the only major difference. If we look underneath the Spectra Plus board, let's just dig that out. And we've got volts going into that. But, um, there is the command board, and there are about four links on there, maybe five links that have to be changed to enable the Spectra Plus to talk directly to a PC through a serial cable. No rib box needed on a Spectra Plus. There we go. And it even tells you on boot up that it's a Spectra Plus. Let's power it up. Spectra Plus, it tells you on the startup screen. So that's the Spectra Plus and we'll go into the software a little bit later but it doesn't need a rib box go straight into the serial connector of a PC and here's a standard Astro Spectra we'll power it up it doesn't say Spectra Plus on start and there we go that's that little repeater All sorts hidden in there. So the programming of that is done through, in this case, the Chinese rib box. And the standard Spectra software. That's reading the radio. Take some time to read. Nearly there. And that's booted up the original Astro Spectre software. Now we can go through all the usual things, look at all the personalities and etc. etc. So that's that one. The software for Spectra Plus is the later software that is used with the XTL series of radios. Do you think I have on here? Something's not found, but we won't worry about that. And that is the Astro 25 mobile CPS that you'd use with an XTL radio or, or fancy things like that. So we'll, we'll just give that a go. Right, we've powered up the Spectra Plus. We've connected a serial cable down to the PC. The rib box is now 
redundant and we go to the Astro 25 mobile software to let's have a read sounds good and there we go different software than the standard Spectra a different setup altogether with programming the personalities don't contain frequencies they're all put in the zone channel assignment and there we go it's a VHF shot this one so quite different on programming no rib box needed and what are the little features have we got well we've got call sign conversion there we go so it'll it'll convert the call sign whereas a standard spectra won't it'll just show you the uh, id numbers uh in addition i think it's got more channels uh it'll also do uh, multiple um ctcss codes so you can just put in all the repeater frequencies say for the uk and select the appropriate ctcss code for it um, so you can go anywhere with the uh, with the set whereas the standard spectra you can't do that sadly but one thing a standard spectra will do it'll make these buttons go quickly to channels i've not been able to make it do it on a spectra plus so you can't just dart to s19 s20 s21 s22 you can't do it on that don't know why maybe just been oversight in the software so uh, that's the uh, the difference between the uh, the spectra plus with its bigger memory few extra features and the bonus is and not having to cough up for a uh, a chinese replica of a, uh, a rib box well that's one way of identifying them stick a label on